everybody. Well, hello, everybody. Whoop, whoop. Welcome back to another awesome, awesome mental health check. Yep. We do these things because we love you guys. But you know what? We are out of the month of May now, so it yep. is no longer Mental Health Awareness Month. But remember that you can be aware of your mental health all year long. You yep. don't have to look at it as a one month event. And for those of you that celebrate Pride Month, happy Pride Month. What is it? It's Pride Month. It's Pride Month now. So happy, happy Pride, Pride Month. month. Yep, yep, yep. You know, there's all kinds of things that honestly, if we look at things, we do not have to just look at it. Oh, well, this is only this. Like, for instance, MS Awareness Month is in the month of March. Well, I don't just look in the month of March mm -hmm. for things that would, you know, help out somebody who doesn't know what MS is or whatever. I am continually sharing. Yeah, sharing stuff yeah. about that. I'm continually looking at things with regards to that. So mm -hmm. that's why I say just because May is Mental Health Awareness Month does not mean that you cannot be aware of your mental health issues or others' mental health yep. issues all year long. Yep, yep, yep. I fully agree. It's important actually for us to look at it all year long and not just be only sitting on that spot where we think to ourselves, oh, it's not May anymore. No, we no. don't have to do that because if we do stuff like that, that's where a stigma comes in. Yep. Right. And that's why we're breaking it because we don't just do it in that month. That's we right. keep going. Continually because we want to break <clears throat> that stigma. Exactly like yep. Mandy says. It is important, so we're not only trying to break the mental health stigma, and that goes along with anything, okay? So uh, oftentimes, people that I've spoken to that don't suffer from mental health issues think that mental health only is like the, what they call the big diseases, like bipolar disorder or schizophrenia, schizophrenia that type of thing. No, mental health issues take all different forms. Mm -hmm. You can have anxiety. Again, guys, not trying to trigger anybody. Nope. I'm just trying to give you guys a little bit of information here. So like you could have an eating disorder, mm -hmm. which is one of the big things that I struggle with is an eating disorder. And so like there's all kinds of things that falls under the self-harm banner, the mm -hmm. eating disorder, okay? Mm -hmm. Because we're technically harming ourselves mm -hmm. by you know, either eating too much or not enough or whatever it is that you're dealing with. I happen to deal with both. So I can binge or I will be like, oh, I can't eat that. That's too many mm -hmm. calories. Well, who cares? Mm -hmm. So just saying there's all kinds of different yep. things that fall under the mental health banner. And so if we break the stigma of that now, mm, yeah. then what happens is that it is not, somebody is not going to look at, say, Mandy, for instance, who has, uh, it's DBT, right? Which one do you want to go Or in? DID. DID, yes. Okay, so we're not going to look at, if we're breaking the stigma, I'm not going to look at Mandy and be like, ooh. Yeah. She has other personalities. I, I've, I got, I've, I've had people ask, are you like the movie Glass? Mm -hmm. It's like, okay. You know, that's a very exaggerated level of it. Are you talking Switched? Well, Switched and Glass. Glass, glass has the guy does, in there a second does. time. And it's you're not right, the same. Right. But he, he does deal with the multiple personality mm -hmm. aspects. It's, yeah, it's the same guy. It's the same guy. But he has a horde. Yes. The horde. Yeah, is... like the first one, the switched, mm -hmm. that's the actual focus on the Just gentleman. That. that gentleman with the mm -hmm. DID. And the next one is like they meet up. It's yeah. actually... There's, uh, there's actually a number of them because oh, there's okay. one with Bruce Willis who is, it's called Unbreakable. Oh, is it? Because uh, his that, body uh, doesn't break. Oh, yeah. And I then there's switched, glass. and then there's glass, yeah. and glass is about Samuel L. L. Jackson, Jackson, who yeah. it was born with uh, osteogenesis imperfecta, so his yeah. bones are yeah, like, like glass, glass, and they just break. Yeah. Why do I know that? Crazy anatomy. <laughs> Adorable. That's awesome, Pastor GG. Okay. Okay. So I, I love Grey's Anatomy too. I just I fell off of I couldn't do television anymore, guys. Like 
we all know I'm the techie chick, but there was a point where I didn't watch TV because I just couldn't have that input of mm-hmm. stuff anymore. Well, there's a lot of yeah. negative oh, yeah, in yes. there. And Mandy has learned, and this is a little something for you guys that are suffering from mental health issues. Mandy has learned for herself the trigger points. Oh, yeah. Not all of them because no, no. we're all always learning our yes. triggers. And sometimes you can be triggered by something that never triggered you before. Yep. But there's just something different about that one specific thing that goes, whoa. Or you're in a moment where your brain's somewhere else and you get caught off guard. I've been caught that's off right. guard. And it's like, whoa. Yeah. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. That's not good. Yeah. And how we deal with it in those moments is like, I go back to square one, a lot of therapy. Mm hmm. You mm-hmm. know, when your body is in, I freeze, mm-hmm. you know, I fight, fight, flight or freeze. Yep. I'm a freezer. When I, yep. when I switch, I tend to freeze because I, I don't know what I'm doing, mm-hmm. but my mind is moving on with that personality. Mm-hmm. And very often I don't believe unless I'm triggered into my aggressive, mm-hmm. protective mm-hmm. state. Yeah. Now he's a pr- protective I say aggressive because he's protective. Mm -hmm. And yes, he's a male. And he's actually a part of another part, Mm -hmm. which is a female part. Mm -hmm. And because of those layers, you know, when you get into another personality outside of, like, because he's a personality away from me, I have to access the main personality before I can get to him. Mm -hmm. So it makes it uncontrollable at times. Mm -hmm. But he's my protector Mm -hmm. and as long as i acknowledge the moments as they come Mm -hmm. he doesn't come out as much he doesn't come out like he doesn't come out period you're you're basically healed of that specifically because that's what god has done and he he has come along and he has really tore out that stigma but mandy still recognizes and legitimizes all of the things that she has dealt with up to this point and i think that that is an important thing and let's let's let, let me just say this in a in a way that is the most gentle way that I can yeah. say Christians over the years and why we're trying to break the stigma of mental health because we're trying to break the Christian stigma of mental health too because Christians have looked at Mandy for instance and the things that she's dealt with and been like ooh we can't be close to that because yeah. Or, well, why don't you just pray and just tell God to get rid of it? Well, yeah, but not everybody is in that position yep. yet. Okay? Yep. So we as as Christians, Christians, that's why we do this yep. mental health check. Because we are Christians and we recognize that there are things that people deal with in their mental health. Mm-hmm. And I, for one, and I know Mandy is the same way, mm-hmm. we do this because we're so sick and tired Mm-hmm. Of the baloney pony, oh. Mandy's going to put up our little baloney pony guy. We're sick and tired of the baloney pony that other Christians have said when they're telling you, oh, I'm just speaking the truth and love. You shouldn't do that. You know what? We have to come to Jesus Christ in our own ways. Mm-hmm. We have to get there and we have to have faith and learn our faith. Learn how to let God deal with the things in our timing we have to learn that okay and if you don't learn that then in my opinion okay and now i'm just a lowly pastor okay (laughs) we love pastor she's just a lowly pastor but we love pastor pastor. keep going but in my opinion if you try to force things on somebody or try to force them it's like saying to somebody oh you have a cut oh well it's fine don't worry about it Mm -hmm. well but it hurts Okay. Or it's it's gushing blood. Yeah. It's the same thing. Okay. We as Christians. Yeah. Okay. That's one thing for somebody to come up and tell you, oh, you shouldn't worry about that. You shouldn't be dealing with that. You should give that to God. Well, sure. Yes, we should be giving it to God, but we're not all in that place where we can just hand everything over right away. We have to learn that process. That's why Mm -hmm. we teach the things about The process before the promise and stuff like that. There's a process to everything that we have to go through. Some people are much quicker. Some people learn things like that. And some people, it takes a little bit of time and it takes you almost the old saying of, I feel like I'm just banging my head against a wall. Well, sometimes. Or I'm taking three steps forward and five steps back. 
I did that one. Still doing three steps forward. So. You're still moving. I have this policy, and I kind of it's not a policy. It's kind of a thought that I go with. My when my nephew started walking, mm -hmm. and you know they get stumbling. Well, I've got this. Keep your moving. Keep your feet moving. Mm -hmm. In other words, if you're already tripping, don't stop moving your feet. Keep them moving. And you might be able to correct that moment. Mm -hmm. Well, it's kind of that. You might fall down, but you got to get up. Yeah. How you get up, you don't have to jump up every time, guys. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you get whacked pretty good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and, and the whole thing is, is in our faith in the stigma, Pastor Gigi got, went on about it, but it also triggered something in me, in my spirit, is in breaking the Christian stigma, Go see that doctor. I believe the Amen. Lord gives us, I think of the story about the guy that's drowning or is on the top of a roof and he's waiting for God to save him while mm -hmm. God sends him a boat, a rubber mm -hmm. dinghy, he doesn't take a helicopter, it. A helicopter. And next thing you know, he's up at the pearly gates going, oh, well, I was waiting for him. He didn't, well, no, I gave and, you a rubber yeah. dinghy. So what I'm trying to say is medication. God gave people the knowledge mm -hmm. and the wisdom to be able to make that so that it can help you. Yeah. I have certain medications I will never be able to go off of. My anti Unless God decides. Unless God takes that, of course. But I'm resigned mm -hmm. and I am comfortable with the Lord mm -hmm. that I, uh, I'm going to take an antidepressant. Mm -hmm. I've done everything else to reduce all the other pharmaceutical medications mm -hmm. And got myself healed. I understand the value of the serotonin and what I've done in my past and why my brain doesn't make that serotonin that mm -hmm. I have to take that. And she understands the the gravity of what these different pharmaceutical things do. And she understands the gravity of having the diagnosis. Here's the thing that we need to remember. Having a diagnosis allows her to be able to say, okay, God, I'm going to nail that to your cross. Cause she says that nail it, weld it, whatever yep. works for you. You're going to take that diagnosis and do that. Whether it's like an instantaneous healing, which God does yeah. often, yes. but sometimes he allows us to live through some things so that we can help somebody else. Or, I mean, I believe in my spirit that that's one of the things that once you get to a certain point and you can help, then do it. That's yeah. why we do what that, we do with you guys. Yeah. And it helps our your healing process. It yeah. brings you to your completion. Because yeah. it gave me, because when I started doing certain things, <clears throat> I was able to look back into my valley at the top of mm -hmm. my mountain in that moment and go, I got it. Yeah. Oh, now I get to share. Yeah. Because I love to share. Mm -hmm. I love to help people get through mm -hmm. their moment because yeah. it isn't forever, guys. It, it feels like it's forever. Yes. It could be forever up until now, but you can get out of it. And yeah. I don't like putting butts because generally anything after the butt is mm -hmm. poop. But think about this, okay? This is the last thing I'm going to say and then I'm going to pray. But yeah. remember, think about this, okay? As I'm a woman, and I have given birth to a child, okay? Now they say that childbirth is the worst pain that anybody could ever feel, like in human physicalness, physicalness or whatever. Yeah. I mean, other than what Jesus went through for us, oh, yeah. okay? So they say that childbirth is the worst thing, but I'll tell you one thing, it hurts very badly when it's going on and stuff like that. But why is it that as soon as that baby is out and you're not feeling that pain anymore, you think to yourself, I could do this again, because if that's my reward, mm -hmm. I'm going to do this again mm -hmm. in a heartbeat. Right? Mm -hmm. So think about that. You can be knocked down, but you can get right back up again. So keep that in your, in your mental health like backpack, I guess yeah. you could say your little bag of mental health things is you can get knocked down, but you can get back. Up. There's a song, song, isn't there? I, I get, get knocked, knocked down, down, but I get, get up, up again. again. Oh, my chair rolled away. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I was waiting. I knew it was on you. you I, knew I was it. trying to remember all the words because I knew for something. Yeah. 
you spend a lot of time. That's a good song. Too. <laughs> it is. It's a good but song. you know what? That could be your mantra yeah. if you want to. I get knocked down, but I get yeah. up again. I am not going to let the enemy take me out because God has great things for you. Yes. You are not alone. You are spectacular. Oh, you said the other one. I did. You're you are not alone. You are so loved, guys. You and, are. you know, in my spirit, let me tell you right now, I don't even feel like we should be doing this I, today. But, yeah, we're talking like it all the way. We're. I just feel like we should yeah. be sharing these things. So. Yeah. I will continue in a second, but I'm going to pray. But before yeah. we pray, go ahead and put up that we are not doctors, doctors and we are not counselors. Okay. <laughs> we are just a couple of average Joes that love you guys. Mm -hmm. And we want to love you guys. Mm -hmm. We want to break the stigma of mental health. We want to break the stigma of Christian mental health and the, the lies. All the lies. It is quite black and white out there. There is much, not much gray. Mm-hmm. True story. So let me pray and then we're going to just keep talking because I Sounds think good. this is really good. Yep. So Lord God, we just want to say thank you for what you're going to do through us and in us today. Yes, you are awesome, God. And yes. you have a plan and a destiny for every one of you guys that are watching out there yep. and us in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. All right. So like we're just going to keep talking. We're not even going to do this teaching. We're just going to have a little bonus. Yes bonus time Bon bonus time mm -hmm. because really it is all about reflecting mm -hmm. on the things that you have conquered whether mm -hmm. it big or small it pastor mm -hmm. don is doing a great series right now mm -hmm. staying positive in, in a, a negative, negative world. world it is so important because i've been kind of going through a lot mm -hmm. my stinking thinking the enemy mm -hmm. Is sticking stuff in my brain but the teachings that I'm getting from Pastor Don are mm -hmm. trumping it yeah because I'm going and I'm being grateful for all the small things mm -hmm. right now it doesn't matter what it is mm -hmm. I'm grateful that my grass is green I'm grateful that the one side of my grass has no dandelions <laughs> I am grateful that my cats are fed that Nathan is getting better that Pastor Gigi and Pastor Don are doing good with church and I can help when I can. I am grateful for every small thing because I'm telling you, there are a lot of negatives that are pushing in my world that are trying to crush me. Yeah. And they have their moments. Sure. But I am able to come out grateful. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you this stuff because I have had to actually use the skill, turn my mind. Mm-hmm. So that negative is entering my head. I can't control that. What I do with it is right there. What you do with it. So I choose to put a positive. Mm -hmm. And it's what I'm grateful for. Mm -hmm. If I can't find the gratefulness of it, I look in my eyes, mind's eye and I see the Lord and mm -hmm. I see him smiling. And guys, I do it for everything. Mm -hmm. When I have this level of where my brain feels like it's melting down because I'm overwhelmed. I, when things get going fast for me is like super fast. It's mm -hmm. like being in the star Wars or you're, you're about to like take off and mock million and everything's whipping past you. <clears throat> well, for me, that's what happens when all the responsibilities and I get overwhelmed and yeah. I'm trying to, because I do have to make a I, I concerted effort to go, no, I'm choosing not to ch think about that. Lord, you have to have it. Come oh, on. it's coming back to me. Okay. Lord, why is it coming back to me? Did mm -hmm. I miss a part? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to put it back there again. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Well, and so let me throw a little skill in here. This is something I, I don't usually give you guys skills per se. Okay. But this is something, and, and Mandy can actually possibly just say, oh, that's such and such, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know names of things, but I'll tell you what I have to do because one of the mental health things that I suffer from is I suffer from depression and I mm -hmm. struggle every single day with stuff like that, mm -hmm. anxiety and depression. Mm -hmm. Anxiety, I struggle with, I feel like a lot more than depression because mm -hmm. depression, I seem to have gone past a lot i mm -hmm. still struggle from it and there are days that i have like wicked depression yeah, where crippling. i yeah like i can't i don't even come out of my bedroom it's dark 
I, I hide away. Because, Turn off. Yeah, because it's just too much for me. Mm -hmm. But the things that I do mm -hmm. is it's almost like, well, it used to be. I don't have this anymore where, where I'd have like, what is it, the manic and the depressive yeah. state. So yeah. in my manic state, I used to type out things well, I used to have actually just a little book that I would write things yeah. in. So I would write down, you are strong, you are courageous, mm -hmm. you are like, and I would write out uh, scriptures that would help me or whatever. Mm -hmm. Because in that moment, I was happy and I could see who I was. Mm -hmm. I was, I felt beautiful. I felt this, I felt that or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I would keep it like that on this, my bedside table before I got a cell phone that had notes. Yeah. Beautiful and thing. yes, it is a beautiful thing. And then in my depressive state, sometimes it was everything I had to just grab that book and start to read those things about myself. And in your own handwriting. And in my own handwriting, it was stuff that was already in there in my brain. I knew it, but mm -hmm. I was in a bad way. Okay. Mm -hmm. So sometimes in that moment, I would that's, I guess that's turning your mind, isn't it? it? Because is. you're turning your mind from being depressed or looking at yourself with the stinking thinking and, and turning yourself and saying, oh, no, I'm strong and courageous. I am beautiful. I am because for me, and I don't know if you guys go through this or not, but for me, it would be one little thing. I would hear one little thing that would toss me into depression where it's yeah. like, one day I was depressed because you feel like you're not worth anything. Why, why bother? Mm -hmm. And the next time that you're depressed, you're depressed because you're fat. That was me. Okay. So yeah. I'm thinking I'm fat. I'm ugly. Nobody is actually looking at me and finding me attractive. And so then I'm constantly on pastured on poor pastured on. Do you find me attractive? Do you find me beautiful? Am I, am, you know, and the poor guy's just like, yes. Like, what the heck is I going on? I married you. Come on now. You know, but like in that space. But we do have those, and it, it is, it, you, and it's in those moments that you need those feedbacks because you, you just, because you're caught in that stinking thing. And, and it, it, that is the word right there. You're caught. You're caught. You're literally caught. You're it's like something is holding on to you even. Yep. And you can't get past it yep. until you're like, do you remember as a kid when you would do like a relay race? Yep. And it was like they're holding on to the baton and they're try you're trying to get it from them. Yep. Well, pass it to me already so that I can run and they won't let go of the yep. baton. It's almost like that. It's like, let go so yep. I can keep pressing forward. Yep. And they're just holding on. Well, it's like that with the enemy. Yep. The enemy is just like, oh, did you want this? Nah, psych. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you do very often in Jesus' name have to stomp on that because he has no power when you use Jesus' name. Absolutely. And that's what I have to remember. Instead of being overwhelmed and asking for things like in help and help and help, I, I've, I've learned to almost turn that help into... In Jesus' name, you can't do that to me. Yeah. No, 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 no. Jesus is better than you. And, and and sometimes I'm like, Jesus, 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 yeah. Jesus, Jesus. Because my head is so full mm -hmm. of that negative it. And guys, I do. I sit there. Jesus, 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 yep. Jesus, 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 Jesus. I do Jesus, the same Jesus, thing. Jesus, Jesus. Next thing you know, I'm singing a song. I get into worship. And when I break into my worship, I know I can relax. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden it's. Hey man, you, you, you're coming down. The enemy starts coming out on the outside again. You, Jesus' name, go away. Yep. And 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 sometimes it's Jesus, 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 yep. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Amen with a hoorah, Jesus, Jesus, yep. Jesus. And I do. I yep. have. I have no choice because I. It, the enemy is very cunning. Mm -hmm. For me, I would do the exact same thing as Mandy, but all of a sudden. And I've said this to you guys before. It's like this righteousness that rises up inside of you because the name of Jesus gives you power. There's mm -hmm. healing in the name of Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And so the more you say that, all of a sudden you get this righteousness inside and you want to grab the devil by the scruff of the neck yeah. and you sit him down in a yep. chair and you're like, no. And that's where those scriptures that I talk about that I write down in my or I used to write down in my manic state where I felt good about things, I would take those scriptures and I would be like, I can do 
all things through Christ who strengthens me. You have no power over me. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden you're just, you feel empowered and Mm -hmm. you feel like you have the power to take on because technically you do. The Bible says that the same spirit that raised Christ Jesus from the dead lives in you. They're pretty powerful. I got shivers. I know I did too. I I was like, I was like, hoorah. Like, think about that guys. If, if the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead lives in you, imagine the power that you wield in -hmm. your spirit to Mm -hmm. tell the evil one or the one, the whatever, the demonic realm that's trying to tell you that you're depressed that day or that you have anxiety over something or you're not worth it. Yeah. Or, or that you're ugly or that you're fat or whatever. Or you you're not supposed like, to be here anymore. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be triggering anybody, but if you're in that realm, that's the enemy guys. hundred percent beginning to end. Yeah. That is the enemy. He's yeah. just making it so that you can believe him and you do the ultimate win for him. Mm-hmm. That's the ultimate win for him. Yep. And I'm not even going to say the word. I know nope. you guys know what it you is. You do know. Yeah, exactly. Because there's a lot of people out there and I know that you struggle with those things, yep. but you don't have to let him win. No. Nope. And I, him meaning the enemy. And if he does, there's help. Always. And we'll give you all the contact numbers. You yep. just reach out. Those people are going to listen to you straight away. Mm-hmm. Especially if you really, in your heart, don't want that. And I know you don't. Mm -hmm. I know if you're having that moment, you think it's an option. It's not. It it, it really, really doesn't work. Mm -hmm. I I don't want to go on about it, but it doesn't work. It only hurts yourself and hurts the people around Mm -hmm. you who want to help you. Mm -hmm. If you're at that point, then you need to break that thousand pound syndrome. Mm -hmm. Tell that enemy to just get out of the yep. way. You pick up that phone and you phone a number yep. that's going to help you. Yep. Whatever that number is, the first one yep. that pops up. Yeah, and we're going to give you guys some numbers right away. Mm-hmm. But something that Mandy said just a couple of minutes ago, I- I'm going to challenge you guys with it. And she's talking about when she's in a in a, a moment and she's like, sometimes all it is is just Jesus, 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 Jesus. I'm not joking. The Bible says that there is power in the name of Jesus. Mm-hmm. Okay. So my challenge for you guys, even if you're not a Christian, try it out. Try, try it out. out. Try it under your breath. You have to have it so that it's loud enough that the enemy can hear, even if it's just. That is just enough to break this because part he of can the realm. Hear. He's got good ears. Yeah. He can hear. Oh yeah. He can hear what you're thinking. Yeah. So your mm. lips on a whisper is. He can't hear what you're thinking. That's why he, you yes. need to speak yes. it out. Yes. Yes. But he can put thoughts in your Thank mind. Thank you. That's what Mandy meant. By That's that. what I meant. So like I'm challenging you, even if you're not a Christian, just try it. Just try saying Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. It, when you're in that moment, just mm-hmm. try it. See what happens. Mm-hmm. And if something happens from that where you can actually get out of the moment, mm-hmm. then let's talk. Yeah. Let's talk. Give us a message. Yes. Email us. Text us. Whatever. Let's talk. Because yes. there's something there. Yes. There's always going to be something there. There's always there, but... something there. But you have had that experience you, yeah. that opens your mind to what God really is. Mm-hmm. I'm just... It's, it's a beyond, challenge. Yeah. Living as long as I have unsaved and the day that I was touched, guys, I did not believe. Mm -hmm. I don't mean to be saying this, but before I was saved, I did not believe. Mm -hmm. I knew I needed to believe in something. I needed a spiritual aspect, but I didn't think it was God, Mm -hmm. like Jesus Christ. And then all of a sudden things went in place and I was just in faith, blind faith, Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Of good people who were that of Christian. Mm -hmm. And they put me in that loving and instantly the second I saw it, guys, it was, I'll say it. I was God smacked Mm -hmm. quite literally in the most beautiful way Mm -hmm. in the palm of his hand. Mm -hmm. And it changed my life, man. Mm -hmm. It changed my life. Mm -hmm. But it's that experience being touched like Pastor Gigi. Come talk to us, Mm -hmm. please. Mm -hmm. We would love to hear about it. Absolutely. So why don't we give everybody the phone numbers that they can call. We'll we'll just get started in that and then we'll, you'll have our information for contacting us. Yes. And we can talk. So we're going to start out with just the, like the emergency mental health numbers. Mm -hmm. If you're in emergency, call 911, please. 
They will help you. Mm -hmm. They will direct you to who you need to go. If you don't know if it's an emergency, but you feel like you're not safe, that is an emergency. Please mm -hmm. call. Mm -hmm. For our young people, Kids Help Phone is 1-800-668-6868. Or you can text the word CONNECT, C-O-N-N-E-C-T, to 686868. Um, in the Calgary area, there's the Calgary Distress Centre. That number is 403-266-4357. On your dial pad, the last four numbers um, spells the word help. Mm -hmm. um, there's also a mental health uh, mental health helpline. That was hard for me that today. One, yeah, you get that one every time. I know, that right? It's line. the double H. Yeah. one 2642 there's also the National Suicide Prevention Hotline. It is 1-800-273-8255. Mm -hmm. You get to see your... Did I do that? Hey! <laughs> My button pushing skills are not very it's good. It's all good. And you know, it's funny because the eye is open. Mm -hmm. Interesting, but it's okay. It's a, oh, well, I figured it out. And if you would like to get a hold of the mental, uh, us mental health chicks, oh, 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 I won't say that again, but that worked out way too good. I didn't mean to do that. If you want to get a hold of uh, the mental health, us mental health check people personally, you can get a hold of us through our messenger via messenger, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. And this is for our church. This is for our church we're in. Uh, at this point, we're talking church stuff. Or you can email us at lwbcinformation at gmail.com. Or if you have a prayer request, or this is the other email that you're able to only get, get a hold of us here. It is lwbcprayer at gmail.com. If you want to get a hold of the actual our mental health check contact information is Twitter. For Twitter, it's at MHC underscore story. Instagram, it's at MHC your story. And our actual mental health check email is MHC your story at gmail.com. Let me tell you guys, that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> but we're trying to give you some extra stuff to be able to get a hold of us mm -hmm. in whatever way or contact whatever that you need through the, the numbers and stuff like that. And, you know, Mandy shared all those numbers, but like, say, for instance, the only number you can remember is the 403 one. And I believe it's the Calgary Distress Center. Mm -hmm. Let's say that that is the only number that you can remember. Well, then just put a number one in front of it, 1403, whatever. Yes. Okay. And they will send you to wherever you need to go. They okay? will help. They will talk to you. If, if, because generally you go in, when you phone the Calgary Distress Center, it takes you right in and they generally don't put you on hold. Or if you're on hold, it's very brief. Yeah. It's like super brief. It's yeah. like you come into the switchboard and for some reason it, mm -hmm. and you get, you jump around. Mm -hmm. it's, they are there, and sometimes if it's busy, mm -hmm. sit and breathe. Mm -hmm. They are coming yeah. to you. They're helping other exactly. people. Exactly. And as soon as they come to you, you're 100% their attention. Yeah, exactly. And if you're in the Alberta area, I actually have been getting so many emails lately, and I, I haven't even talked to Mandy about this, but Alberta government is putting a whole bunch of money towards mental health. Okay, That's really good. so because they recognize that our children during the pandemic, our adults during the pandemic, seniors. our teenagers, our seniors, anybody with mental health issues has really been struggling because we haven't been able to be close to each other. We haven't had that opportunity and stuff like that. So Alberta government has seen that mm -hmm. and they are actually trying to put money towards things awesome. which to me says a big huge i don't know uh, slap towards mental health yeah. <laughs> it's like I'm yes breaking that stigma that's ideally right. it's it, ultimately the stigma is being broken because people are going oh okay it actually affected everybody mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they had to look at that mm -hmm. in the COVID because we we were so isolated yeah and or 
isolation wasn't as hard on me, mm -hmm. but people with masks on mm -hmm. and not being able to see your expression. Mm -hmm. And because I don't hear well, if my hearing aids aren't in it. I don't hear your, mm -hmm. your voice tones. Mm -hmm. I was being totally thrown off mm -hmm. because I couldn't understand how people were expressing themselves mm -hmm. and it, it did it mm -hmm. made a lot of anxiety yeah. for me yeah and I don't know what it's like in your area mm -hmm. if you're not from Alberta but I do know that one of the things that Alberta government has been talking about is the effect of the lockdowns and stuff like that on small children mm -hmm. in their mental health because if you guys think about this like little kids were told not they're not allowed to hug each other they're not or allowed birthday parties yeah like there was a lot of stuff that if you're a small child that is a social child and even if you're not a social child that would have been very difficult now so think about okay so there were a lot of kids that were teenagers that were unable to graduate high school the way that we're used to seeing a graduation yeah. but think about how many small children started school their very first day of school and they have to wear a mask mm -hmm. they can't see their teacher's face because their teacher has to wear a mask not to mention all their peers that they don't know exactly like there's a lot of stuff that has happened and you know i know that one of the biggest stigmas out there is that people look at small children i'm a big advocate for children i do sunday school and i and i do youth ministry mm, yeah. and stuff i love that kind of thing because I feel like our children and our youth and stuff like that ha are so under um, privileged in the sense that people like automatically you get blamed if you're a teenager because something is broken. Oh yeah, you're well, the, you're at that age where you're yeah. looked at as the punk. Yeah, and that is not always the case. So for my heart, I have always been a big yeah, advocate and, and be like stop blaming the kids that could actually be an adult that's doing that yeah. you know like um, it yeah. could, seriously like these yeah. are the things so our children our youth and those of us that are adults that are suffering with mental health you know what you're going through mm -hmm. what you have gone through or what you're still going through even right now so imagine what the, our kids are going through yeah. so and, and they it don't know starts how to express with them. themselves and the thing is i i just being a young person dealing with mental health, the stigma of being a young kid is you don't want to disappoint your parents by saying that you're having a hard time. Mm -hmm. But yet things might be happening in the realm of physicalness where they're hurting themselves. No mm -hmm. triggers needed. I yeah. don't mean to. No. Um, but fact based, you're seeing your child's behaviors changing. Mm -hmm. The stigma, they're not going to tell you because they don't want to disappoint or they're afraid. And then it gets too extreme. Yeah. Well, as we've gone through in our skill building stuff, does not take much mm -hmm. to alter your brain. They say if you do a behavior or a task a minimum of three times, that generally you build that pathway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you think of that young child who's in their footprints part of their lives and they're not getting the proper stimuli so that they can understand socially how they're supposed to do things exactly it it, de it really delayed the young mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. and unfortunately that's something that all of you that have suffered with mental health you should keep that in your own back pockets so to speak or your own thought process that you're going to see young people yep. that don't have the money to say go into uh, a, a counselor, a psychologist or whatever, but you're going to see young people that don't have the skills to interact yeah. properly because they don't know how. Yeah. And I know that a lot of times that's a big thing is like, oh, well, the teenagers, all they, they're, they're texting each other and they're right beside each other because they don't know how to interact. This is the stuff that we hear often. Mm -hmm. Mandy and yeah. I hear this all, all the, the time. time. But the, the point is that I'm trying to make is that you're going to have kids that not only have that, but mm. also have the inability to k interact whatsoever because they don't know how. Because they've spent whatever, two years with masks on and they're not allowed to touch each other. They're not allowed to share mm. 
even a toy with a friend without having it disinfected. Do you see what I'm saying? So it makes you not only feel like you shouldn't be allowed to talk to somebody, but it makes you feel dirty. And that's not right. And not valid. Exactly. Borderline personality disorder is a very common diagnosis, at least in my time. They probably have changed the name of it. Mm -hmm. But it's common. Invalidation, abandonment. Mm -hmm. You know, when you, people fall into those traits, that's mm -hmm. BPD. That's brought on at a young age mm -hmm. where... You know, it, it, could, it, it might not be mom and dad, but it's the fact that you're at school, that child's at school sitting with a mask on. Yeah. And he feels stared at. Let's say his mask is not the same as everybody else's. And which isn't that the saddest thing? I know. That like we, there were, I know this because I've seen it and I've done it, but there's designer masks. Mm -hmm. Like What? So now not only do you have designer shoes or designer pants or designer hoodies or whatever, but you have a designer mask. So it has to be a Dolce & Gabbana mask. Or That's crazy. It and has to be a is, Nike swish on it. It's like, not really that healthy, guys. Having something over your face is not healthy. Unless you really need to do that. Or we you're were, a doctor. Or you're a doctor. <laughs> but really, overall, we don't need to have the masks on. You know, I, I know there are reasons and I am not against those that need to wear them, mm -hmm. but it is hard on the people, most people, most people don't even give it thought mm -hmm. that it's bugging them. Mm -hmm. But those who deal with mental health that think they're being stared at or they're not being validated or mm -hmm. they can't understand people because they can't see their faces. It is. It's a nightmare. It's a crisis. Yep. It makes it hard to go out and get things done. Absolutely. There's The effects are beyond even comprehension mm -hmm. because I believe what I feel is different than what Pastor Gigi feels, but we could be in the same situation. Mm -hmm. So think of the multiple, mm -hmm. how everybody feels. And, yeah. and that's why it's important to just be gentle to yourself. Mm -hmm. Be gentle to those yeah. young people. Be gentle to the yeah. The teenagers that are just caught up in their yeah. phone. Because, like, for instance, just imagine Mandy and I were cohort families when we had to do the whole cohort thing. Yeah. What if you didn't have a cohort family? What if you were just by really yourself? By yourself. And that can play on your emotions. Mm -hmm. That can play on on your uh, mental health and mm -hmm. stuff like that, even if you don't suffer with, from, men. with mental health yeah. issues. Okay? So... There, let's let's there's things that are expensive right now inflation has brought a lot of stuff up that is expensive mm -hmm. but i'll tell you what is free a smile is free mm -hmm. loving somebody else is free just being kind to somebody mm -hmm. is free it doesn't it cost you. anything yeah and it helps you that's right so let's take this world that we're living in where everything is expensive and give some free things to people like mm -hmm. a smile or just loving on somebody or yep. just being caring. Yep. It doesn't take your mental health away. It doesn't do anything extra except give a little bit of positive and love to somebody else. Yes. And you can also mark it as your one thing competent in the day. There you, you go. are really truly struggling and you go out of your way even though you're down in the dumps and you see that older person, let's say, who just happened to look over to you and you smile to the point they smile back, you just made their day. Yeah. Because those old people are perhaps in the same situation as mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. And you just acknowledging them looking mm -hmm. at you mm -hmm. is enough to put them on that cloud nine that yep. gets them going. It could be. And that well is your that. one thing confident. Mm -hmm. It is that easy. That easy. That easy. Well, I guess we're done. We're so done. Mandy's going to pray. Yes. And then. We'll just roll out. Roll out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lord, thank you for this time. Mm -hmm. Of course, we never got to the red stuff, but I kind of know what that was about. And we were pretty much there, Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you for working the spirit in these situations. We are going to roll out the red, the part that we read. Next week. Next week. Because mm -hmm. there is, this all good falls teach. together. It's mm -hmm. such a good teach. Lord, may everybody 
be able to overcome everything with you, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Just give it to him, everybody. Mm -hmm. I'm saying, you just give it to him. Mm -hmm. Have faith. Mm -hmm. Have faith. Give him small things. Mm -hmm. Over time, you will be able to do the big things. Start small. Mm -hmm. Lord, shine the sun down on everybody. Hallelujah. Give them that vitamin D wherever mm -hmm. they are. Mm -hmm. And, you know, just have the love of this video, whether they're catching us live or on the replay on Facebook or YouTube. Lord, let this fill them with the love they need to move on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. In Thank Jesus' you, name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Well, guys, we love you. Again, Amen. happy Pride Month. <laughs> we love you guys. God bless you all. And we'll see you next Thursday. And are you ready? I'm always ready. Live, Live it, it, love it, it and be it. Bye for now.